Okay, welcome back. Tonight I'm going to attempt to put makeup on again. This is like my third time I'm doing this on video. This is my war paint. <laughs> I don't look very scary, do I? <laughs> okay, I'm just using some Country Harvest moisture cream because that's all I have on hand at the moment. As I try to get it up my nose, it doesn't belong up my nose. I remember being 13 and being in missionettes and my leader trying to teach all of us girls how to wear makeup and back then I wasn't real interested in makeup. I was, but not particularly from her. I don't know. She, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I was a weird child anyways when it comes to, I wish I paid more attention to how to work, put makeup on. I don't, could probably do a better job than I do now. I don't wear a lot of makeup, I just kind of wear the basics. What am I doing? I need to put the other stuff on. Well, here, go ahead and mess it up, Vicky. Just mess it. You look orange now. Brown. That make it even at least. Jeez. Okay. Oh my goodness, Vicky. As I'm throwing things here, I'm getting the light a little better. Okay. I'm not doing the that yet until I watch a couple more tutorials on how to do that part. Some of it I'm just going to have fun, but that, oh wait, just say it. Okay. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where? Right in front of me. foundation brush. I usually use a sponge, which I don't even know where it's at. Next video, I am going to be cleaning out my makeup box. I have a very, very messy makeup box and a whole bunch of makeup that needs to be um, probably cold out, really. I'm going to be getting some new makeup here soon, and I will really be having some fun with all that. It might be better to not get in my hair. It might be better to, um, I totally forgot what I was saying. Oh, I don't remember what I was saying. Jeez. Maybe I should use either the sponge or the, my hand, maybe. I'm going to try this. I've seen people do this with brushes and they make it look so easy. See, I always have blemishes over on the sides of my face. I didn't used to, but here lately it seems like. But yeah, I'm going to be getting some new makeup here soon and I'm going to be having some fun with all that. So I need to make room in my makeup box for all the new fun stuff. So I'm like super excited about that. Oh! Try to poke myself in the eye. Why do you keep feeling like you're coming out of there? 
You better not be. But you feel like it. I'm mostly, for this time, just trying to cover up blemishes. I think I should. I think he's it faster. Ugh, I'm impatient, okay? I never did have patience for stuff. I always try to say I have patience, but I really don't. Oh, my hand is hurting tonight. Why are you hurting? Probably old age. Arthritis. <sighs> yeah, all the new makeup I'm going to be getting here soon. Kind of considering that as my early birthday present for my 51st birthday. So, yeah. And I'm going to have some fun with it. Why have I got the hair? There you are, you little guilty thing. my hair. I trimmed my hair earlier in the back side, but I didn't get the front side. So, yeah. Okay. Yes, I can't sing. I'll admit it. I won't torture you anymore. I love my dad, but no offense to him, he can't totally sing. But hey, I gotta give him credit. He has fun with it, with singing, and he does try, so. I think that's the point, and I think that is awesome. It's torturous on my ears sometimes. Well, particularly when he doesn't have his hearing aids in, I should say, is when it's worse. Because he can't, um, he doesn't know what tone he's in, all that kind of stuff. Okay, did I get it okay enough? I hope so. Okay. So yeah, I figured my 51st birthday, I just want to have some fun with things. Well, even before then, but, you know. I'm starting to try to do some of the stuff that I've never done before. Very you know, you only live once. Let's go have some fun with it. Okay. Eyeliner. What goes on first, the eyeliner or the eye eyeshadow? I'm thinking eyeshadow. I had no idea what color to go with. Okay, I'm wearing blue. I'll go with that as a starter. Hold that thought while I figure out what color to go with. Okay, I think I'm going to go with the blue, the light cream color, and then the gold. I think is what I'm going to go with. I hope this... watching some tutorials on how to do some of this stuff, but I'm still not real confident with it, so I figured, hey, I need some practice to get the confidence, you know? Life's too short to not have some fun. I don't come out looking like Mimi when I get <laughs> no offense to Mimi on Drew Carey show, but that's not what I'm aiming for. 
this strain of hair is like stay up there. God, I look horrible with my hair up like that. I'm, I'm so used to my hair being down and like sheltering me, so to speak. me so to speak. I used to be really bad when I was in school. I would hide. I'd have my hair down my face. I'd always hold my head down. I was extremely shy. Extremely self-conscious. I definitely need more practice on this. I need lots of practice on this. So you're all going to be probably seeing a lot more makeup tutorials. Well, I wouldn't even call this a tutorial. This is a tutorial on how to look like a clown. I used to, oh, I used to love clowning. I know some people have fears clowns. I know, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I won't torture you with that. Like, I know a lot of people have they call, um, phobias of clowns. <clears throat> so I won't torture you with that. Or if I do put a picture of my clown days, I will put it on the very end, but I will give warning first um, of the clown picture coming up. So the people that do have phobias can exit. Because I, I do know that there are people that have real phobias of clowns. When I did clowning, when I went to clown school, I learned, I never knew that people had clown phobias back then, at first. But, um... When I went to clown school, that's when I learned to, um, like when out in public, keep my distance from particularly young kids that were afraid of clowns, but adults too. I keep my distance out of respect for them. Because I figured, you know, at some point they had been traumatized and I did not want or need to add to that traumatization. But man, I used to love the days when I was, when I did clowning. I hope this comes out good. I really don't know. I used to love the days of clowning and doing birthday parties and stuff. I just, all in general, having fun, being silly. It probably took me an hour or two just to put my makeup alone on. I don't know if I like that or not. Yeah, I need more practice. I need to, I definitely watch some tutorials. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and go with the rest of the makeup that I've got planned to put on and just see kind of what happens here. <sighs> okay, so I need eyeliner. Oh boy. Let's see how much we can mess this up. Good liner. This is different. It's got one of those little. Can you see that or not? Yeah, another one around here someplace. It's made different. Oh my goodness, how am I going to do this? I am not. I'm using the camera as a mirror instead of actually having a mirror to look into. <sighs> okay, so this should make it at least a little bit easier. Oh my good, yeah, I should have had the mirror. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, 
buy it. <laughs> what, what do you gotta do? Have a, a hand of a surgeon to get this stuff on? Jeez. Louise. Okay, I'm getting the other eyeliner and see if I do better. That one, I see this one. Yeah, that one I might be able to do a little bit better. Maybe. We shall see. Seriously, I think it's awesome. Some people, how they make it look so easy when they're putting this stuff on. Maybe I'll get there eventually, but right now, it's like, oh my goodness. To hog tie my eyeball down just to hold my eyeball steady. right there. Well, I'm going to go with that for the moment. I ain't done yet. I should bring it down. No, I don't know. that make weird noises. Oh my goodness, I'm making it worse. I'm going to leave it like that for the moment. I was just going to frustrate myself. <sighs> Trying to poke myself in the eyeball. Ah. Don't where it goes, Yuki. Well, kind of, sort of did better on this one than I did the other one. Sort of. I'm 
I'm leaving it like that for the moment. <laughs> uh, okay, this is going to be a challenge. Got some eye. Eyeliner. And I think you're supposed to put this like on that underneath the lid of your eye. This could be it. This could be interesting right here. I feel like I'm going to poke myself with the eyeball. Feels like I'm getting more of my eyelashes than I am my eyeliner or eye, whatever you call that. Won't get better if I don't work at things, right? Okay, I may not be getting very much of this on there because, um, yeah. Oh! I don't like Ricky to blank. It's not safe to blink. Get very much of this in there. I have to. I might have to watch some tutorials. <laughs> oh, my dad's gonna come home from church a little bit and see me looking like a clown. He's gonna be like, "What in the world?" Okay. I think instead of mascara this time, I'm going to attempt at some fake lashes. It has been like 25 years since I wore fake eyelashes. I used to wear them when I was clowning. Wait, 30, 30 to 60 seconds for adhesive to become tacky before applying lashes. Okay. This is. How do you get it open? What the? How am I supposed to get it out of there, people? Huh? Huh? How? Is there instructions on how? How are you supposed to get it out of there? Let me get a toothpick. Jeez. Hold that thought. Okay. I kind of sort of have one side on. <laughs> a little lopsided. Not even all the way on there. Ugh. Stay on there. God, I've been watching all these different makeup tutorials, and some of these people, you know, kids, young kids, makes us all this look so easy. And here I am, like. <laughs> For like me, can't figure out how to get an eyelash on. I took part of my eyeliner off. Oh well. Okay. I guess I'll use a toothpick to get. Why? 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 Are you doing this to me? Is it dried up? 
haven't had it that long. Have I? Three new bucks. You just split my toothpick. Not cool. No. I guess I'll be getting it on there. Just however I can get it on there then. Yeah. This time, I'll have to get buy some different adhesive for later down the road. Stay on there! It seemed like it was so much easier 25 years ago when I was putting eyelashes on back then. I did it all the time back then. And then I had a little, like a little tube. Not, I had like, it came more out like a, like a cream, so to speak. Not a little tube like this. This already dried up. Oh. oh well. Just have to get some more and make sure I get I stuff to do this again next time. Better. Oh, this feels creepy. <sighs> Makes me think of a centipede. Who knew fake eyelashes could feel like a centipede? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> They're not cooperating with me! <laughs> be up all night watching videos of how to do this stuff. I can do better than this. Yeah. Okay. Come on off of there then. Okay. Blush. So I'm going to put some blush on then. Some blush that's almost done for. It's almost gone. I'm trying to use this up. Jeez. Uh, okay. Use my new brush. Actually, I wonder if I should use that for dry powder. I'll use this one for my, no, that one's actually, i use this one for now, because I don't know where my other one's at. I have another one right here someplace. I don't know where it's at. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> okay, Vicky, okay, okay, breathe, breathe, breathe. We can fix this. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Blended right. Oh my goodness. My makeup is like falling all apart. <sighs> I am 
have some I don't know what Neutrogena mineral shears. <gasps> Opposite direction. Things. Okay, well, go with the flow, Vicky. Go with the flow. Fix, fix, fix. Blend. Uh, uh, uh. I could blend that out a little bit. Ah. Again, to make it look a little more even on the shading here. Hopefully, I don't. Go overboard again. Okay. Good enough. Just wish I could get that fixed. How am I going to do it? How, how, how? Okay. Um. I don't know if I did the right thing or not, but I went through and I just tried to fix my boo-boos where I did the eyeliner. I went ahead and took the eyeliner off since I'm not able to get these silly things on right now. So I'm going to do mascara. What do I do with mascara like this? Like this mascara I want to use, I think. Maybe. So we shall see how this... Why in my hair? My hair is bugging me, y'all. Bugging me. Until just maybe six months ago or something like that, I had never wore mascara even. I've never tried any of this eye stuff. All this is like a new adventure to me. I'm having fun with it. I mean, I, you know, I, I mess up, but I'm having fun. I think that's part of life. You mess up, you go a different route of things. But have fun with it. As one thing I can honestly say about chronic fatigue, I have learned to appreciate the little things. Knowing with enjoying the time with my family, and especially with my husband, Anthony, and things like that, I've learned to enjoy the little goofy things like this. You know? Be a big kid with things. When I first came down with chronic fatigue, it really bothered me because I, there's a lot of things that I couldn't and still can't do. And I'll admit, I moped a lot. But, you know, after a while you kind of get past that. And find your way on a different path in life. And you learn to appreciate the little things. Especially time with family. Even though, it, yeah, my family does drive me nuts sometimes. Oh, yeah. But, you know, they're not going to be there for, forever. I mean, like, like with my kitty, Snugglebug. Oh, yeah, she was a, a lovable kitty. And she annoyed me sometimes with that cold, wet nose of hers. Where she would suckle my blanket, then I, I forget that she just suckled my blanket, and I'd pull the blanket up to cover myself up with, and be all wet and slimy. It's like, eh. and way she would snuggle with me and you know, cross my shoulder and stuff, wake me up in the middle of the night wanting attention. Those little things used to bug me. Yeah, I loved them, yes, but they bug me too when you're trying to sleep. But now I miss them. I miss those little things. Okay, I'm going to let it go for the moment. I'll put another layer on in a minute. 
I think that's actually coming out better than I did with the eyeliner. So I'm going to put some lipstick on now. Let's see how this goes. I don't know if I want this color. That color. I'm going to go with this color for now. Let's see how this goes. I have no idea. I can't read that. Euphoria? My... I can't even tell you what brand. I don't know. This is old makeup that I need to use up or throw away. I've had all this stuff for years. Well, not all this stuff, but years. Not this for years, because I don't think that's good to... There are some stuff in that box that I've had for quite a while I need to go through and toss. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, that popped. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I have, it had another end to it. I don't know where the other end is. You know, like a lip gloss part, and then this was the, the shimmery glittery end. So I don't know if I even need the shimmery glitter end right now. I think it's got enough shimmery gl glitter as it is. He's going to come home here a little bit from church and think I've gone back to clowning. I wish I could. I, I know a lot of people have phobias of clowns, but I had so much fun making people laugh. Oh, and my character that I played as a clown, I played as a five-year-old. I guess my inner child, I feel like a five-year-old oftentimes. But also, I, f I felt like in that mode, I could relate to small children better, so to speak. Man, I had so much fun as that, playing that character. It originally started out, I, I started playing as Tweety Bird. My church had a um, Tweety Bird costume. And Dad needed me to sell some pumpkins, a whole truckload of pumpkins. I couldn't get the dang things to sell on my own. So I borrowed the church's Tweety Bird costume. Bam! Everything sold like hotcakes. Well, because of it, I met a lady that seen me out hustling pumpkins in the Tweety Bird costume, and she did clowning. One thing led to another. And she told me about clown school, the community college. So I started doing it and started doing clowning. So much fun. Went roller skating with the church once, the youth group. And, oh my goodness, I can't skate. I can't roller skate. Or ice skate, actually, for that matter. So I was in my clown costume, sweeping the floor, and people were just roaring, laughing at me. There was a clown out there on the skate floor, just falling all over the place. I had so much fun. I guess you can say those were my glory days. Okay. I'm going to go with that. <sighs> Things did not go as planned for this video, though. Happy, oh, meow, meow. 
Listerine hair, eyeliner that didn't want to go on right, eyelashes that didn't want to go on right, blush that definitely did not go on right. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Y'all, jeez. My hair for one thing, and then added to the makeup. I do not normally wear this much makeup, but hey, kind of fun, right? So what do y'all think? Could be better. Could be worse. At least I got that kind of toned down a little bit there. I need to trim my hair at least a little bit through there. So I hate to cut my hair, but it does need it. So, anywho, um, I think that's it for now. You can see real well now. The, so I tried to, oh, I forgot to tell you, when I was doing the eyeshadow, when I had it pause for a little bit, when I tried to fix things, I put the gold all over, the gold glitter all over the eye lid and then I put just a little bit of blue over on the side and then I put just a little bit of blue down there but I don't know if that looks good or not I think it makes me look like I got a black like somebody punched me or something so anywho I think that's gonna be it for now if you're new to my channel don't forget to like comment subscribe share and hit that notification bell honey <laughs> and check out the links down below um, let me know what you think <laughs> I am going to be practicing. Oh, I need lots of practice, don't I? Uh, if you have any tips, let me know. Um, I'm going to be watching some tutorials on how to do a little bit better. And maybe have things planned out a little bit better. Hopefully. We shall see on that idea. So, um, I'm excited to um, hear soon get my new makeup in. And start practicing with that. So, um, I think in a little while I'm going to do another video. I'm going to show you my makeup box. My messy, very, very messy makeup box. And clean that out. So, I'll catch you guys later.